Good morning, everybody. This is The Professor with Day Trading for Success. I have a pretty large group with me trading today. We're going to be trading relatively small share size beginning in just a few minutes. First, I'm going to go over this layout and the strategy that we are trading, which will be the RV strategy. Make sure you read this disclaimer. I'm not a licensed uh, financial advisor, so this is just an entertainment channel showing you different ways to trade with, with trading demonstrations. So um, you should really seek the advice of a licensed financial advisor before you follow this, any of these strategies, or for that matter, anybody else's. So what we offer on this channel, I'll be showing you today too, we're not selling courses. Everything we have here is free. So demonstration videos for free, free custom scripts, they, any uh, custom scripts say DTS, Day Trading for Success. There's a lot of them. If you go to episode 83, you can see them all. Some of the newer, like the scalping indicator here has newer versions from some of the last few videos. Um, so that's the one that everybody wants. So when you when you're downloading a uh, free script, remember, you know, you go and you you um, paste in your URL number that or your link that's there, URL number that's there. Then you push Control V when you when you import, push Control V. All right, when you're importing uh, the free layouts that we have, there's a lot of the perfect one minute, the perfect five minute. Try to get the custom scripts you want in first, and they'll populate automatically if you have them on your platform, rather than you having to go individually and put them into each layout. Okay, so um, on this layout here, we have the volume profile. I have a video that shows how to get this for intraday, which is so important for this type of trading. Which is what we're trading today. Is there's a lot of videos before I go on to what we're trading today. There's the volume profile video. Make sure you watch that. There's a video that shows how you can predict the direction of the market for the most part, what the steps that we go through. Video about how to set up your scanner so you don't have to pay for a scanner service that does not just large caps and mids cap, but, but also the momentum ones that everybody's paying a service for. Thinkorswim has them here if you just know how to set them up. Videos about how to set up charts. Videos about how to build your perfect one-minute layout or five-minute layout. So there's a lot of videos about the 50 top videos to watch, videos about everything. Everything's free here. And the whole idea about day trading for success is to hopefully help you make $100 a day, $200 a day, $500 a day, you know, $2,000, $3,000 a day. It, it's done. People are doing it. So that's all we're trying to do. You watching is all we're asking for. So let me break into um, what this strategy really is and what this layout is. So you have a one minute. Uh, chart here. You have the scalpers indicated down here is minimize the daily chart. I have minimized a five minute chart for the spies on it, the QQQ. We're trading Microsoft today. Here's a four hour minimized, a one hour minimized. I'm down here. <clears throat> a 15 minute uh, level two active trader, five minute here. This is the, another uh, um, custom script that I put in. This is the ADX that has an alarm that goes off to with like a phone call sound uh, ringing that helps you to remember which way the trend is going. The RSI is available right on Thinkorswim, as is the volume profile, which is very important. It's just how to set it up specifically. I have a video about it. So that's the entire layout. What is the RV strategy? Well, the RV strategy, and I highly recommend getting the book. There's the Day Trading Volume Series, which are the best-selling books, and I recommend you get <clears throat> Day Trading Volume 1 to start because that covers not only – you know, best trading plans and all kinds of other ways, scalping and versus other, how to find a broker, what questions brokers ask, you know, all this stuff if you're a beginner. But most importantly, it has the RV strategy, which is what the book's all about, and it's a workbook. So now I have a video that shows all about that book. If you don't want to pay for it, uh, the book's better, but I have a video that covers it. That's not one of the other things we have here is we'll do reviews on books. However, if you really want to see the reviews on all the books, go to the YouTube channel, Million hyphen dollar hyphen margin club they're actually a book review channel and they do all these 60 second shorts helping you with your candlestick patterns and all that but that being said um we're going to be covering the we i have lots of videos that cover this strategy um if you're not going to pay for the book and you can get your information there it's just a little harder and might not be quite as complete so you start with a day chart and you look at the close of the previous day which in this case was um, $415.50, all right? From there, 
you're trying to figure out your ATRs. So you, you look at your ATR down here, right? So this is the average true range. That's what ATR stands for. So that's the range over a 14-day period, right? So watch that number right there. So I go back over this candle. It says $6.41. You divide that $6.41 in half, and you get uh, $3.20. Uh, 20 cents roughly and you subtract that from the close three dollars and 20 cents to get the atr low and you add it to the close to get the atr so you what you've done is you've created a channel here this is a range bound channel high low that's where your trading wants to go into the rv stocks rv stocks large cap 25 billion dollar uh mar minimum market cap one billion dollar minimum not dollar one billion minimum float all right so you're looking for a stock that's huge and moves sideways with an atr between like five seven eight somewhere in there now we trade them higher it's been like the wild west lately but that's what this the i'm coming back to the, the roots of what the strategy is designed for safety making hundreds of dollars every day in safety Follow trading plan for sure. A max loss per trade, a max loss per the day. You know that's you know that's all about the best loser wins. Read that book, um, and then controlling yourself, the trading in the zone. But also on the day trading volume one, the best selling book there. That's that's going to kind of map out how to do your trading plan. And you want to you want to it trades by uh, figuring out what you what you want to win or lose between channels. So these are the lines, the spaghetti mess that might seem confusing. These are basically creating channels for you to trade in within this first range. So you saw how we got that range, right? Now what do these other lines come from? So now I'm going to open up a four hour down here that's minimized. And I'm going to show you and this looks probably overwhelming if you've never seen it before. But all these blue lines are the four hours. So each one of these black lines is representing a day, so we're going back um, over 10 days. We're going back almost two weeks here, I think. So where did these candlesticks stop, their wicks and bodies, in between this range? That's what you're looking for, right? So bodies and wicks got picked up here. You can kind of see them if you look close. Bodies and wicks got picked up. And they created channels. They, that means that stock over a four-hour period, it averaged it out, whether you're trading a five-minute chart, 15-minute chart, 30-minute chart, one-hour chart, 90-minute chart. The four-hour took the average of all those when people, for the most part, got out of position or got in position where the stock turned around or pivoted. Some people are waiting to do the exact same thing again to get in or out at that position. So it would totally make sense to mark where that is when you're trading in the moment on a one-minute chart. Gee, what is this blue line? Oh, a whole crap load of people <laughs> turned around there or got in there, whatever it might be. So you want to make note. Now, they might not all be respected, but they might a lot of them might be so you respect them till you don't and you mark these things out we'll go over that a little bit more now if there's not enough of them uh, and the gap is just too big the channel then you go down to the next time frame so i went down to the one hour and i marked some more to, to kind of tighten these channels i didn't need to go any further than that so i didn't want to make my channels too big because if you follow the the uh, the risk management in the book, you'll see that you, you're trading by the, the width of the channels, how you set you. So that's like a 50 cent channel there. So if you had 100 shares, you want to be able to travel, you know, at least $50. And if you if it's too much, then you try, you want to try to find additional channels in there. I hope that made sense. The other thing way you mark is your Fibonacci's. So your Fibonacci level, you go left to right, all right, could be high to low or low to high, but it's always left to right. So I picked up the uh, left to right, picked up the uh, pre-market high here and then back here. So it doesn't have to be 10 days back, but you're looking for that within a 10-day period. These are going to give you more support and resistance lines that are respected, often respected. Then you do it one more time on a two-day five-minute. Again, it hit the same high, but the low's different, and I marked it a different color so you could see if any of these lines fell within, and some of them did. So these are just support and resistance lines that you want to respect. So, guys, we're going to be starting in about three or four minutes. Everybody's there's a, few, a bunch of people that aren't there. I know they're there. They're just not where I can see them. Um, so let me get my uh, five-minute chart ready here. 
So guys, we're going to be trading market. I'll be calling the ball. They call that quarterbacking, which means I call out what I'm doing, but they all take their own trades. Now, a lot of people will follow me exactly. I don't advise it, but basically I'm back there in the background. It's a profession that people have that are just letting people know like, hey, here's what I would do, but you make your own choice always, right? <clears throat> and learning how to do it is the way to do it, not following somebody else. Like they're... they're there's, there's a delay even between me and them. And if you follow anybody online, if you're paying some expensive service, you're not, you're not really learning how to trade that way, right? You're not, you might be able to keep up with them, but you really need to learn how to trade on your own, you know, by learning all these strategies. So we roughly have about uh, three minutes left, guys. So, um, so what am I seeing here? This is a fib here that it just broke through. Um, this is a one hour that seemed to be respected a couple of times. And also right there, we are outside of the volume profile. We'll be talking about that a bunch today. And we'll be talking about patterns today too. So I'm looking at as it's support, it's coming back down and banging against this Fibonacci level here. And that was also marked at a high, I believe, right? At some point, right? Cause that's way up there. Um, so that is making me think if it's going to bounce off to that to maybe go long up into think about up in here maybe um, this this possible fib or one of these other four hours to reverse. But let's see what's happening because it might not allow us to go long depending on we still have a couple of minutes, guys. So I'll I'll go over the volume profile. So this is the higher level of the volume profile. This is the lower level. What is the volume profile? We're showing you the price action volume that. Um, has ha already happened. Now I set this for intraday, so it just already happened when you're reading this. So this is the point of control, I call it the magnet, Well, most of the price action had has already happened. So again, you're looking for repeat. You're looking for repeat, right? Like if you're good at trading level two, this is what is happening right now. This guy's willing to pay this much. This guy wants to, I want this much. So they both get together and when the trade goes through, the market maker gives that much in the middle at the exact time. And that's in between what they call the spread. So this is live, right? But it doesn't, it's not until that sale is made that this is, uh, uh, that it comes over here and then finally to the histogram. But all that happens within a split, split second. Guys, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna buy right there. So we're a minute, uh, a minute early. Um, so, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, I don't want this. It's not right. Hang on a second. Let me get rid of that. Now there's a bunch of videos that show how to do all this. Oops. <laughs> I didn't like to see that. Uh, I took my eye off it and that happened. So, um, Okay, so I should have waited. I thought that uh, uh, I thought it was going to get support there, so that's a little disturbing. Um, so my max loss per trade today is three hundred dollars. If I see it get to that red, get to 300, I will get out. So that's pretty high considering we only have uh, 250 shares. So that's over a point that I'm willing to lose on one trade. And you're not going to see it move that much. Now, what just happened there, buyers went up on the volume, right? Look at it happening right now. So now the trade's going the way I wanted it to go. So now I look for it to bank off this FIB and maybe turn around. That's the upper level of the VWAP. Right, so we're outside of the volume profile. This is the VWAP down here, and that's the upper level. And then you have a FIB, so two things pushing this down, which would call me to maybe reverse. So, um, okay, it broke, it broke right through that and made a new high. So let's see. So it is definitely trending up. You look, this is a 15. I, I try to keep these here for a larger perspective, right? So it's definitely trending up. So when you take these little trades based on this, you have to be careful. These were all indecisions saying it's going to turn around, but then we had this nice big fib supporting it, saying more like, hey, it's going to break out. And it did break out. Now it looks like you just, it looked like the point of control just popped up, which it did, 
did there for a second. It's going back and forth, so it's it's the more volume that it's recorded is now popping up, showing us like, hey, there's support to continue to move up. Wow. So um, I'm looking at the even dollar amounts as possible reversals, and this is the last line before the ATR. So I'm looking now. The way I trade is I reverse in anticipation and then manage my bad position if I called it wrong. So. Um, I wish I would have turned around when it hit when it hit up there. So um, we don't have anything to go by on the candlestick patterns. I'm looking at the scalpers indicator. Um, it's still everything's still saying, the, the, it, you know, it's it's even here, but it's basically saying it's going up for the most part. So now that was a doji, which is telling you this this is a bearish doji. Okay, so it doesn't have to be red to be a bearish doji. So since you're going up, if you want to call that an uptrend, that is an indecisive doji, which means it's highly likely it's going to turn around. It doesn't mean it might just turn around to this fib, but we've got to consider the fact this is a message it's going to turn around. Also, with the buyers, you know, as the volume went up, the buyers actually dropped another sign that a turnaround could be coming, but this is not saying turnaround right now. So that's a new high. Wow. So uh, it's banking right at that four hour, 417.20. This is what I would get. I'm looking to reverse, guys, sometime soon here. I'm not. And then if I, if I called it wrong, I'm just going to. I'm going to take that reverse when I buy. I took it as it was on an upswing to get it as high as I could. So I got my position at a, uh, oh, so I did not have that. I don't have that here. I don't have my position here. What is, is that what I got rid of? Oh, my God. Uh, average. This is my average price I got it for, right? So let's get that back over there. I'll put that there. Yeah, so there's my price. Yeah, I still I'm still tweaking this stuff with uh switching over to swap. <laughs> I'm trying to get all my layouts in and um everything's just a little bit different, so the five minute just says, hey, we're just going up. The 15 minute says, hey, we're just going up. So I can't, I'm on a short now, so I'm kind of losing perspective. But here we go. Here's a hanging man. So we had one sign of a turnaround here, and now we have a hanging man. And it bumped, and I already said, hey, let's turn around. So if this breaks through here with any kind of power, I am reversing and going long again. So that I'm, I'm playing sort of the odds that this is going to go down eventually, and then I'll ride it back up. So it's just kind of, you know, ebb and flow of the tide, watching the numbers here and then playing that out and then managing your bad position. That's the way I like to look at it, managing my bad position. You go into a casino back in the day. I used to, you know, play in the casinos for money. It would be I'd have an attitude of like manage how much money I'm going to lose. That's my attitude. Like I'm going to go. I'm going to take chances. Let's just manage how much I actually lose. I never planned on winning, you know. And it's a, it's a good attitude to have. Now, eventually, if I lost all the time, you would have not seen me go into casinos very often. But they didn't want me to go into casinos very often. So, And that was back in the day where they were just... I mean, stuff you might guys might want to know or not. Just getting into the facial recognition. That's how old I am. They were just getting into it. Like, they wouldn't allow you to wear sunglasses on the new cameras because they had to see your eyes. You know, the <laughs> just weird. Uh, anyway. I didn't like the atmosphere much because I'm not a smoker. And uh, it, it was just so bad for your health to just sit there and for hours on end and breathe in the smoke and just the, the atmosphere. But yeah, making money was, was fun, you know. Uh, but yeah, after a while, it just wasn't enough to make me want to live that kind of a lifestyle, you know. So came up with other ways. Um, but I love gaming and playing games and things like that. So um, 
So it banked on the nine there, guys. That's a good trade so far. Um, how are you guys doing? So I'm looking at this fib to turn around. Yep. I'm going to turn around at that fib, guys, and bank that money. So I'm up to 400. And so we thought we might not make 500 again today, but we're doing good. So let's see. We, sh we should be able to get to 1,000 today because that was a good couple of good trades. So it's 1,000 a day. That's 5,000 a week, right? If you make it 500 a day, 2,500 a week, but even 100 a day, 500 a week, maybe you can quit that second job or buy those extra things you in, you know that give you enjoyment in life. So the important thing is to not risk more than you can afford to lose and to not get overconfident if trades are working for you. Just get out. Live to trade another day. When you start to lose, don't think, don't just keep saying it's going to turn around for me because it did that the last five days in a row. So I know it'll do it again. No, you don't know that. Every day is a different day. Every day can completely destroy you. So, and who are you battling against? You're battling against yourself. So um, nobody else. Although we do competitions all the time, <laughs> but you know what I mean. I mean, you're battling against yourself, theoretically. So, um, yeah. So this is not going well for me right now. So yeah, I honestly thought it would it would uh, that would um, that this fib would support it, and it's dropped way below the fib now. So, oops. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Yep, the sellers are definitely taking over. I'm going the wrong way, so I've got to watch this. And I don't really want to. I know I know I have a three hundred dollars max loss, but I really don't even want to see that go to a hundred. And then I just I need to understand, you know, why is it not going the way that I wanted it to go? Okay, so you have an inverted hammer here, or you possibly have a, a um, bullish rickshaw man. Um, so this is a very interesting pattern. But what it is a pattern of that they'll all tell you is a reversal of a trend. Now, a lot of people will say that the one-minute chart doesn't make very good trends unless you count like, you know, 25 candles. I do not look at it that way, all right? But what I do is I back it up by watching, hey, is it a trend on a 15-minute? It's still a trend going up on a 15-minute. So you can lose yourself in here with these little scalps if you're planning to hold them for longer the little scalps on a one minute are short moves, you know, 50 cent, one dollar, 25 cents, 50 cents, one dollar. Not, you're not waiting for a three dollar move by reading a one minute chart. I mean, you might get it, but that's not what scalping on a one minute chart really is. You're looking for 10 cent moves, 20 cent moves, 50 cent moves, and you're thinking, oh my God, that was a great move, you know. Yeah, it's 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 using that fib dax to go the other way, guys. Ah, that was a thirty-four. Did I get that at thirty-five? All right. I'm betting this is gonna. I went short, so I'm betting this is gonna go down. So now it only went down here before. So let's see if it's gonna just stop again in this area. That's four sixteen twenty-three. There's nothing here to help me. In the middle of this, I kind of wish I had another, uh, well, there it goes. I, went down. I was going to say another pivot line, but now we have it down to the FIB, which should be fairly highly respected. So we're looking at that FIB as a possible, uh, look at what it's giving. Yeah, right there. What did I get that at? Um, 415.92. So I'm like right here on the top of that FIB, hoping for a bounce up, a spring up off the FIB. That's what I'm doing. Now, this is what I call managing a bad position. I have to say, like, if it breaks, it broke the fib, it broke the four hour. If it breaks the one hour, you know, I need to seriously consider getting out. But right now, I'm just looking at it to manage it. Managing means getting out when it gets too high. It's not too high yet for me to deal with. So if we have a nice low share size, nice tight channels. We have lots of ways to play this. These channels just help you do it. And then you look at the other indicators. So obviously the selling is winning out, but will it win out this candle too? All this tells me whether I'm going to hold a bad position longer or wait for it to become a good position. And now it's become a good position. Not great yet, but there it goes. Okay. So now we're looking for it to get up here. 
right? So the 41652 guys, um, you know, that general area. So it's climbing back up now. Now this is a, a bullish tweezer. Um, so that, that's a good that's a good move too. But um, I see how the volumes drop with the buyers. So I'm not feeling super overconfident with this upward move. Um, so you know these you got to take everything into account. Everything into account. See if there's pa bigger patterns being made. I quickly took a look over. Hey, do we have a bull flag over here? No, not really. <clears throat> this broke the halfway. So you know you've got to try to take in everything that might keep this going up. There's not a lot keeping this going up. So I am concerned about it. Twenty twenty four. So this is where it was kind of stopping before coming down, and now it seems to be stopping going up. So you could almost call this a spinning top. You know, uh, whoa, did you see that coming in? That's going to pull the point of control up. See that action on the volume day? So where's your point of control? Way down here. So this might pop up, showing people are going to see this, see this which it's action that already happened, but people are going to see it and it's going to give them confidence to hold the position for a long. Keep in mind, the 15 minutes still been nothing but long and the five minutes showing you that it's going long. So you can get lost in these little moves here. Um, still coming in. This is where, and you can see why it would come in over here because this has been the price action for a while. Right in here, grinding along between these two, these two levels. So it's channel trading. That's what RV, the RV strategy is. Channel trading. Make sure you get the book, get the pattern book series book too for sure. Whoa! See it pop up. I told you it used to be down there. Here it is. I told you. <laughs> no, uh, but that's how it works, guys. So now this has already happened, but now a lot of people are seeing this for the first time that don't necessarily know you can predict the future quite as well. Now they're going, hey, hey, a lot of people are trading here. This is the place, man. Um, so, you know, that's, it's, it's all about we're all lemmings, right? So you're all now I'm going to see for a kickoff off that fib. Um, and it's, it's people all reading the same thing that moves a stock a certain way. It really just comes down to being quite that. That's how simple it is. are doing pretty good up there. Is that it? I'm going to bank that, guys. I'm just, uh, it's dropping off again. So it's grinding down. The, oh, is it going to go up now? So there's my negative. I, I, I managed to get to six. That was a small trade. I didn't see what the slippage was. But it looked like it was going to go down again. So I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of this. These reindeer games. I'm just going to try to pick up some baby scalps here. All right, so let's look. Let's look for a reverse off the fib. If you're short with me, here how many times it's reversed here. Let me get this set up. Oh, it's resting on it now. It's a sixty dollar trade. I'm going to hold it for a second. I should have snagged it there. Oh, that broke through it. 67. On the four hour, I'm going to take that 75 bucks and go long. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, I missed that move. All right, so we're managing a bad trade again. <laughs> How bad will that get? Wow, it's broke me below 600. All right, so I need to get out. I got to get out. Okay, so that was a bad trade. That's my first bad trade. Yeah, I was I was going to wait for it to pop back up, but it's so strong going down, and you can see how it was elevating, and look at that, you know. So, yeah, that was – I messed up there. Oh, well, you know what? You can't win them all all the time, right? So, um One hour was certainly not respected, and I was kind of hoping for some help there in that bad position. This might be the one that gets respected. 
So also remember the psychological even dollar amounts, half dollar amounts, sometimes even quarter dollar amounts are, are uh, you have to take into account where people preset their orders or are always looking at for their alarm or whatever it might be. So this one seems to be so far a little bit respected here. And now that means I'm going the wrong way again. So I had dreams of 800 by now, but it went the other way on me. And for those poor people that followed me along, you can't be mad at me because I'm not responsible for your trades. You need to take your own trades. So this just fell like a knife. Boom. Straight down. If you look over here, well, that's a spinning top there, which might signify that it would go back up, but it didn't. So... Yeah, this is a uh, shooting star on the 15 minutes, which definitely says it's going to go down. Don't know how far down. If you try to take everything into account, your point of control is way up here. So this is saying, hey, we want you to come back up. But you see this coming in here? This could pull the point of control right down. So now I'm caught sort of with a not great entry, you know, looking to see what it's going to do here. And I don't know what it's going to do here. It's still above the VWAP. Got an inverted hammer here telling you it's going to go back up, which means I shouldn't be short. Way up there, someone's got a thousand bucks, man. Good for you. I'm happy and sad all at the same time. Oh. Feel it's a good time to point out for my ego that my goal normally each day is five thousand a day, and I do plan to trade the power hour today to try to make that, but I uh, I agreed to do the lower share size for everybody today. So, and it, you know, really, I look at it like a week, you know, 25K a week, not not a day. And some days you can get 25K in a day. Oh, this is going to pop it up. That's a long position then. That's going to pull it long. See that coming in? So a bunch of indecisive candles on the one minute. It did make its shooting star move already down here on the 15 minute. See that? Playing games with us up here. Pulling that point of control up. Boke the 15, e, the even dollar amount too. The 15 even dollar amount. So, uh, saw it hit 88 here. Back up to 91, 41491. I'm going to take the 88. So I got back over $600 unless it just keeps plummeting down. So now I'm into managing a potential losing position again because I'm not following the downward movement. I'm I'm hoping because of this indecision and the point of control here that it's going to at least grind here or possibly turn around. So that's all. That's all I'm doing. That's all I've got to go on. This is not telling me that it's going to go up. That's for sure. That is for a second. But now it's, now it's going to hit me again. But what is my position? So... 90 so I got it at 90 so I'm right here right there that's not too bad that's that's my position right 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 at this level maybe if I do this it'll make it go up go up that way you want to go up oh fifty dollars Come on.
Wow. It does seem like I'm managing a... Don't adjust your volume. I wasn't talking. Um, I'm just... I'm feeling I'm in the wrong way again. Um, and I'm destined to be at $600 all day. If this goes up again with the sellers, I'm definitely... Is it going to break this four hour? Oh, my God. I'm being tired. I'm getting tired of being wrong. <sighs> okay. That's good. Inverted hammer. Sign of a reversal right at the four hour. So you guys can now do that. You can now reverse for me. That's why you got to know your patterns, assuming this, this actually works. I'm sure not, I'm sure not feeling it, the strength of it, but, um, if it gets up in here somewhere, I'm going to I'm going to go the other way. I'm looking at what the market makers given me, thinking about getting off that bouncing off that 4 hour if it gets that high and I'm green again. I'm trying to get green again. If we can break uh, 415, go up to 415, bank off that. That would give me just 10 cents. 25. $25, right? I think we're going to go for some smaller scalps here and try to manage these tiny moves here. Eighty nine, eighty seven. I'm looking at the market maker here, guys. I already know where it, what channel it's in. Scalpers indicator, market maker. Sellers are falling off. This is a good sign for me in my position that I'm in. I'm gonna break off the VWAPs right up there. Okay, so it's gonna hit four fifteen. That's what it looks like. 14.15, I mean. So will it will it break 14.15 and then shoot up higher? Give me one of those fast. It's almost to 14.15. That could be a resistance. So uh, there's 14.15. Wow, there it goes. Get up there. 14.15.22 is the one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to make sure I'm looking at my at the right thing here so I can react fast. Let's see here. Oh man, 415. It may fade off 415 here. Now if you if you if you read the book, it tells you exactly when it breaks these pivot lines how to trade it, which is pretty helpful. Once it breaks through a ceiling and then back through a floor, you have a much better chance of going the other way to trade it the other way. But you have to take in, you know, at least three or four basic indicators to figure out what you're doing here it's it's climbing up now so i like the look of it although yeah that doesn't look good buyers went down with that man it's just no strong i'm gonna reverse right there what did i get that at 16 what is this at yeah i was hoping i was grabbing it a little higher than that but i did bank over 700 barely yeah, 1100. 1100's our leader. So, it looks like some of you are going to break 1000 today, which is good. Man, I can't win. So let's grind it up to the point of control. I mean, I'm not much out of position here. So there's another hanging man on an upward trend, if you want to call that a trend. This is coming in, though, to push it, to pull it higher. This is a sign of a reversal to go back down. That's what it's doing. I'm going to actually grab that and bank it. Wow, I was over 800. Did you see that slip? Oh, that's that stunk. Do it again. Now I'm back over 18 again. 
I'm at short. I'm in a short position now. Trying to catch these guys with some shenanigans here. Nice. Keep going down. Get down to that other four hour. What is that at? 4.14.69. Sellers went way up there for that. For once I was in the right position, but now it's going the other way. So it broke 414. Now look for 41450. See if that turns it around. This is definitely a safe oh, point of control went down. So it looks like it's gonna push it down. I would I would bet this goes down a little further, so I'm gonna hold it. 79. Sixty-nine. It was sixty-nine for a second. I'm looking right here. Looking for emotional support lines. And I'm looking for that four hour, which it just tapped. Uh, sellers are going up again. If you look at the scalpers indicator, that is good. I'm getting ready to turn around, guys. 900. Oh, take that. What did I get that at? 53. So I got it at 53, like right here. So if it breaks both of those and continues, then I'm in, I'm going the wrong way. Look at that stepping up, stepping down. We want to go right back up again. Look at this. Look at that pattern repeat. You know, now the 15 minute still says it's going down, and technically with a spinning top saying reversal on a 15 minute, you'd think you'd reverse. Well, it already did. It reversed the entire length of that candle. So that move's completed. That doesn't mean it won't keep going down like it's doing to me right now. Oh, wow. Don't go down to the other fit, please. Yeah, I'm at my time, guys. I I was um, I'm I'm trying to I'm gonna try to hold on for to try to break a grand today. But if it doesn't start moving and moving my way, and uh, I'm gonna get out with a with a good day. I mean, it's a good day for only 250 shares on a slow moving behemoth of a large cap. And this is what the RV strategy is about. So remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like this kind of trading content showing you specifically how to predict the future with patterns and I mean that's kind of what the RV strategy does it's helping you it's giving you an edge this died off twice and you know how I feel about that when they die off like that I think they're going to go the other way did not make the whole channel now that is a pretty big channel but um I'm looking for it to bank off that I can't get I can't get confused that it's a that I'm trying to make a thousand. I've got to be careful here. Oh, darn it! Sorry, guys. Need more coffee. Need more coffee. Got a full day. Ah. It's just hovering at my price point. It's not letting me out of the trade. I feel like I'm going to accidentally trigger that button. Oh, I don't break below nine. Uh, I should have snagged that scalp. You're reversed up there. 
And then I'd have like 960, 970 right now for just a little hop in one direction or the other would have put me over 1,000. But I was thinking about something else and didn't pick up on that move. We have another chance to make some money on this trade here. does seem like it's going to break that. It seems like it's going a little stronger. Oh. How did you see that? What time? It was just, and then all of a sudden, boom, it just dropped. Wow, that's two scalps I could have caught if I just, I was waiting for it to break this. But this seems to be what it's doing. It's just grinding in this channel. Now it breaks it. I was just going to reverse on that on that time. I'm like, okay, I'm tired of this. I'm just going to reverse. Oh, my God. I broke 1,000. Can I get out with 1,000? I did. I got out with 1,000. Okay. Now it's going to shoot through the moon. <laughs> oh, how do we do, guys? Well, obviously, you can keep trading. It's a bunch of fives and 600s, 800. Two people over 1,000. So I'm in third place. Third place, it looks like. Yeah. So you have time. I'm going to be calling it a day with other stuff to do. I will be back for the power hour. Guys, uh, thanks for watching. Remember, be careful. This is an entertainment channel. You know, Guard your money wisely. Only trade what you can afford to lose. Trade in a simulator first until you feel really proficient. Uh, and then read all those books, and you, you can do it. You can do it. I don't, it's not as hard as it – well, it can be. i got to be careful. But – if you do the right studying and follow a trading plan, you're going to become a successful trader. There, I've said it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought I got out of position. Did I not get out? You guys are screaming at me. I didn't get out of position. What did I do? Add share size? No. I reversed instead of, uh, oh, my God. I'm such an idiot. Okay, so I've got to buy a cover to get out. Wow, it's going the wrong way. Oh, sometimes I just, I space, guys. Yeah, follow your trading plan and look at the active trader. <laughs> I don't have my $1,000 anymore. I don't have the third place anymore. Uh, looking for a dip now to get out of this. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, come on. There it is. A little more. Uh, I was afraid it was going to slip, so I waited because I was only like 25 cents over. Get down there. Keep going down. There you go. Pop down there. Oh, was that the best I could have got? I should have grabbed it. I never second guess myself, as you can tell. Man. Look, it's right there like, ah, we're messing with you. Yeah, you never want to set an even money goal like that. That's just craziness. I should have taken that trade a couple of times and got out. Oh, man. Give me a dip. You do not want me to get angry at you, stock market gods. I'm sure I'll get lots of comments. Dude, you're in position. What are you doing? <laughs> Yes, and I'm out. Okay, Whew. now it'll make me another $200 if I stayed in. Okay, guys, stay green. Be careful out there. More careful than me, obviously.